Good morning. I'm Commander Dennis Spence. I'm the Chair of Research Education and Facilitation at the Naval Medical Center, San Diego, California. In this podcast, I'm going to talk about how to write a case report. I have three objectives for this podcast. First, we will review examples of what makes a publishable case report. Second, we will describe the components of a case report. And finally, I will list some general tips that can help you when writing up a case. So what makes a publishable case report? Well, first, a case report describes and discusses an instance of disease in a patient. The essential characteristics of a publishable case report is essentially educational value. Not all case reports must tell of a unique finding. Some are published because they support the findings of previously published cases or because they are useful reminders of an important point in diagnosis or treatment. Writing a case report for a journal publication is one of the best ways to get started in medical writing. They are by their nature little mysteries that hold our interest and take us very little time to prepare than other papers such as a research report. Most cases are on one of the following five topics. First, they may describe an unexpected association between diseases or symptoms. It may ex explain an unexpected event in the course of observing or treating a patient. For example, the transdermal absorption of nitroglycerin and its dilating effect on blood vessels came to be understood after a physician reported a headache in a patient who had handled TNT powder in his daily work. Also, a good publishable case report has findings that shed new light on the possible pathogenesis of a disease or adverse effect or event. They also may present a unique or rare features of a disease or condition or case, and it may describe a unique or new therapeutic approach or management technique. So case reports describe a single series, a single case, or a series of similar cases. Typically they're limited to less than 2,500 words, though this may vary depending on the journal that you're writing to. Also the references are typically less than 30 and many times less than 20. The title should be descriptive, accurate, and succinct. And many case reports are preceded by an abstract, which is on average less than 250 words and it sh the abstract should succinctly describe the main text of the report. So what are the components of a case report? They have an introduction, a case report or summary, a discussion section, and a conclusion. The introduction should be a brief telling why the case is important and why it's being reported. For example, because it adds to the understanding of a clinical problem. It should capture the reader's attention and introduce the case. It should provide a rationale for reporting the case. It provides background information that provides clarity for the discussion. It should be written in the past tense. And you should keep it brief to less than three paragraphs typically less than one paragraph in most journals. The case report is to let the reader understand the case, making clear all pertinent facts. It describes the case adequately in a narrative form, and it includes all pertinent demographic, past medical history, past surgical history, medication, lab or other diagnostic test results, as are important to the outcome of the case. You should only present pertinent facts of the case, and you should provide greater detail for critical aspects where appropriate. You should only present events in chronological order, and it should be written in the past tense. And it sets the stage for the discussion. You need to make sure that it's sure your summary of the case is accurate, brief, and clearly written. The discussion section summarizes salient features of the case. 
you should justify the uniqueness of the case, and you should provide some evidence to support the diagnosis or management. You might want to consider comparing and contrasting the events of the case with the literature. You need to explain or justify the similarities and differences with what other people have reported when managing similar cases. You should justify your actions of the case or diagnose with evidence. And you should also rule out other plausible explanations. You should make sure that the events are, are, are temporal and causal in nature. And you should describe any implications and relevance of the case in the context of current literature. The conclusion should provide a justified conclusion of what, what you talked about based on evidence, and you should consider making some evidence-based recommendations. In my opinion, the most important function of a case report is to educate your fellow colleagues about, your, about a unique or challenging case that you had to take care of, or a patient you had to take care of. You should describe how the information learned applies to one's own practice. You should consider listing any opportunities for future research. You need to ensure that this section is written briefly and does not exceed one paragraph in most instances. Here are some general tips for medical writing when you're doing a case report. First off, you need to know your audience. What I recommend to people is to think about what journal you want to publish your case report in and go find the guidelines for authors and read those thoroughly and understand exactly what is expected. Also, it's real important to pull some case reports from that journal and to read through several of them so you get an idea of the flow and how information is presented. As I mentioned, you should use primary references whenever possible and only select review articles in rare cases. Do not present any new information in the discussion that wasn't already presented in the case report. As a reviewer, this is one of the common problems I find when reviewing case reports. Authors will start talking about events that weren't summarized in the case report section. A way that you can determine this is have a fellow colleague read through your case report and if they come across things in the discussion that weren't in the case report they should let you know and you should go back and fit, make sure that information is in there if it's important to the outcome of the case. It's really important to avoid any finger pointing and making other providers or professionals look bad. Similarly, you should avoid publishing case reports which are considered below the standard of care or that have some sort of legal implications. And if you have a question about this, you should seek uh, advice from your risk management department. Also, you need to ensure patient privacy. And some journals may request ask that you uh, provide permission from the patient to publish information about them, especially if it has to do with pictures of the individual. And finally, you need to remember the ABCs of writing. When writing, you should always be accurate and truthful in what you write and support what you write with appropriate references. You need to make sure what you write is, you, is written briefly. You don't want to keep going on and on. And finally, you want to make sure what you write is clear and easily understood. And here are some references that you may use to help you in writing a case.